Mars 2020 rover. We have to fly this vehicle through the eye of a needle at 13,000 miles per hour, 300 million miles away from home. And so uh, there, there are a few things we have to uh, get right to do that. Between launch and landing, the spacecraft is on a 203 day trip from Earth to Mars. And so the navigation team is tracking it and uh, we're doing some instrument checkouts of equipment along the way. We're getting the, the team prepared for the events leading up to entry, descent, and landing. Uh, we have some uh, uh, tough choices to make to fly the spacecraft, uh, uh, when we're going to perform maneuver and if we're going to update any of the parameters on board the spacecraft. I have worked on a few Mars missions uh, since uh, arriving here at uh, NASA Langley uh, almost 20 years ago now. And um, I started right away on my first day on the job working on what would become the Mars Science Laboratory, or MSL, that landed in 2012. Um, this mission, Mars uh, 2020, is a build to print of, of that uh, entry, descent, and landing system. And so it's allowed us to learn how the system performed last time uh, for MSL. And uh, this time around, uh, we've, we've tweaked a few things. We've added a few additional capabilities. We've added the range trigger, which is a new way of triggering the parachute deployment. That allows us to land closer to the target. And we've added a terrain relative navigation system, uh, which allows us to land in a, a very rugged um, place, which is Jezero Crater. The next step for Mars, and we're very excited about this, is the Mars Sample Return Project. And Mars Sample Return is really a series of three missions. Mars 2020 is really the first step of those three missions. Perseverance rover has a, a sample and caching system on board. And so for the first time on Mars, um, after we land, we're going to have the capability to collect samples and store those samples in test tubes that we can then return back to Earth. There are teams already working on the follow-on missions to then go and, and uh, retrieve and return those samples back to Earth. Beyond that, NASA is looking to send humans to Mars. Some of the capability on the Perseverance rover is uh, we're carrying an instrument that will allow us to make oxygen from the carbon dioxide of the atmosphere of Mars. And that's a technology demonstration that provides some uh, feed forward to a uh, human mission in the future. So it's a very exciting time on Mars right now. Check back later to find out more about how NASA Langley is helping to land rovers on Mars. <laughs>